Hello, and thank you for joining me today. In this video, we'll be talking about BarCloud's inventory management system and learning how we can create a user-defined label. This process allows users to create their own label templates, controlling the content and the layout of the design. We're going to start off by clicking the barcode icon in the main navigation ribbon. Next, we'll click on the Add button on the right-hand side of the page to bring up the new label wizard. On this first page, we'll give the barcode label a name, select the label source, and choose the size. The name should be something that will be recognized easily. The source will depend on what information we're running on the label, and for today, we'll be choosing the stock item. It is important to select the correct size, as it cannot be changed later. If a custom size is chosen, the next page will let the user enter the size. The second page, or third if you're using a custom size label, allows the users to select the fields they want to appear on the label. For our label, we'll be adding the stock item number, barcode image, the stock item number, and the stock description. Use the buttons in between the two columns to move items between them. The top two buttons will move just the selected items, whereas the bottom two will move the entire contents. The last step in the wizard is to choose how the items will be selected. It's important to make sure that a field with the barcode image is never selected, as this will cause the list to populate blank. We're going to select stock item number. Now that we have our label created in the system, we can make sure it's selected and press the edit button on the right hand side of the screen. This will launch the editor, which allows us to rearrange the contents of the label. The editor uses a simple drag and drop interface, so it works like you would expect. We're going to rearrange the content so that it flows the way that we want to. Additionally, you can add logos, pictures, or static text to the labels as well. Okay, so now that we're done with editing, we're going to press the Save button, and then we're going to close and exit. When it's time to use the layout that we've just created, we'll simply select it from the list based on the name that we provided in Step 1, choose which items need to be printed, and how many copies of each, and then we simply press the Print button to bring up the on-screen preview, and from here we can simply go and print them directly out. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you in future videos.